part of this event was about extending the idea of my book to a community. So writing Being Boss was a very personal experience for me about surviving my first 1,000 days in business. And then I felt like I needed to extend this book to a greater audience and a greater community, which is why I decided to create Being Boss, the event. My advice to anybody that's wanting to start their own business and move out of employment is to start slowly. So what I found worked a lot for me was starting off as a freelancer while still employed. So finding a chance to still get the safety net of a salary, but then kind of slowly moving into entrepreneurship through freelancing. If you offer a service, then that's quite an easy way to find your feet in, in the entrepreneurship and freelance space. There's a lot of things that we need to learn to do as a business owner, which you don't really realize or take cognizance of when, you, and when you're employed. Things like invoicing and making sure clients pay, timekeeping, things like that that you don't necessarily take cognizance of as, an, as, an, as somebody that's employed at a company. So my advice would be to kind of dip your toe slowly into that freelancing space before making the leap into entrepreneurship. So my best lesson from my worst boss is literally the reason why I started Jam Media. Um, I had the worst boss ever and she was a horrible person that made everyone cry every day. And really what I learned from that experience is how not to boss and how not to run a team. So everything I do every day is really about just being completely opposite to how that particular boss was. So my biggest lesson around that particular place of employment was how to build an amazing winning team and how to strive to be a leader that makes your environment feel safe while they're at work.